a full face of Fenty. Y'all know Fenty done dropped a whole bunch of products and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it, okay? Hi, my name is Kira and we're gonna be hopping into these Fenty Beauty products today, okay? The East Drop Foundation has been taking the world by storm and your girl's gonna try it out. She's gonna test it out for you, let you know the real tea, let you know. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. What is up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. Today we are going to be hopping into Fenty beauty don't even get me started about fancy okay i love me some fancy okay rihanna rihanna you did that you did that for the girls we needed it as color girls we need a strong a strong when i say strong i mean strong makeup brand that's like up there like high quality that produces for the girls for the melanin for us me and you I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of reviews on this product and my school is playing games with me. I ordered this foundation literally as soon as it dropped and my school just didn't want to give it to me. Like they took forever to process all of my packages. So sorry that this review is a little bit late. I'm sure you guys have already seen it and got everyone's spiel, but you haven't seen me do it. And I decided to do it in a different way. I did go ahead and order some other Fenty products. Let's switch it up and we're going to do a full face of Fenty using some new products. Now also since i have purchased this stuff fancy has dropped some new stuff okay some they dropped a new bronzer shade i believe they dropped some new lip products they dropped i want to say they dropped something else too they dropped a whole bunch of stuff like obviously i haven't got my hands on that yet because i was waiting on this package to come and i didn't know if it was gonna come or not so i was like let me not waste my money if it's not gonna come i'm really excited also i know this is a new setup Fun fact, I had to take down all the wallpaper in my dorm because <laughs> we're not really allowed to have it and they were going to find me if I didn't take it down. I'm trying to figure something out there, but until then, we're sitting on the floor. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it, but we're going to go with it. We needed something. I needed to film this video ASAP. No Rocky. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into this package. So here is the box, a plain brown box. Nothing crazy. Also, don't mind my nails, okay? I just had them done, um, but they was popping off, and I was trying to hold on to them as long as possible so I could film this video, but um, I couldn't do it anymore. They looked crazy, so I just took them off, so please don't judge me, okay? Anyways, back to this, so what you came here for. So let me not shake it up, though. Here it is, Fenty Skin slash Beauty. What I loved about this, this one actually has the prices of everything. A lot of companies don't do that, so I really appreciate that so that I can give you guys a rundown of everything that I use. So you're getting a full face of Fenty, an eavesdrop review, and a first impressions on the one. <laughs> I bought a total of eight products. Like I said, I have tried Fenty in the past. I do own a lot of their products. Well, not a lot. I own some of their products and for the most part, I do enjoy Fenty. So I'm really excited to be doing this. So I did purchase a brow product. Y'all know I do my brows first, but this is the Fenty Brow in vp brow pencil and this is in the shade black brown all right so i'm like struggling to open this brow pencil oh so here's what it looks like most of this stuff i have never tried before so just be aware of that this product was 20 dollars. should i zoom y'all in up close my baby hairs look insane but that's neither here nor there this brow pencil actually comes with this instead of a spoolie it's like a little literally looks like a mini like toothbrush or something so i don't know how this is gonna work out it's actually like harder and like more not harder but more solid than i thought it was gonna be okay obviously it's working one thing i will say is my pencil came broken if y'all can see that and a good bit of product broke off actually so that kind of sucks but i'm sure that has nothing to do with like them but it's fine i don't even really use brow products on the reg but i really love this brow pencil because it's like buildable you can't go too crazy and i've been liking the more natural brow recently i know they look crazy right now but i promise you i will get them together it's not harsh and in 2021 we're not doing those crazy brows no more we're doing like nice soft brows and we need products that will help with that so having an extremely pigmented brow pencil isn't necessary i mean i like it personally like i said i don't do anything crazy with my brows most of the time i don't even fill them in anymore i'm not mad at it i'm not gonna lie i'm not mad at it all right so to conceal we have the fenty beauty instant retouch concealer this is in the shade 390 but i also purchased a shade a little bit lighter than this one so they're pretty 
similar in shade so I'm actually gonna use the lighter one what I like about this concealer is it's thick and I know a lot of people don't like thick concealers I don't mind them they get the job done I feel like they're easier to control especially when concealing my brows it makes it a lot easier so I do enjoy a thicker concealer here's what it looks like so we're gonna go ahead and get to carving out the brow boom and there we have it like i said i have no hard feelings against this concealer i have tried it before it gets the job done i like the thickness i like the consistency i like the blend ability i know it looks kind of crazy right now because i don't i don't blend out my concealer on my brows too crazy don't trust the process okay i like it <laughs> The concealer is $26, so honestly, mm, I don't know. I am more of a drugstore girl. I'm not going to lie, but it's not that bad. I mean, I'm not going to judge it too badly off of the brows, but like I said, I have tried this concealer before. It has been in my collection. It's just not my go-to, if that makes sense. Y'all y'all feel me? Okay, moving on, we're going to go ahead and prime. Y'all know I had to get the Pro Filter Primer, but guess what? Your girl ain't have to spend no money on it. No, she already had it in her makeup collection. And yes, she uses it on the daily, okay? Here we have our Fenty Pro Filter. I will put the price of this primer on the screen because I don't know it off the top of my head. Mid to high 20s, low 30s, something like that. The way that it works for the amount of product that you get, I think it's the perfect price range. Like I said, it has been a day-to-day -day use. And I love it. I've literally... We didn't have to throw it like that though. I've literally been using this like nonstop since I first purchased it a whole year ago. Mm -hmm. Should I throw myself out there like that? Because this has a 12 month expiration date. So this is the matte formula. Your girl has oily skin. So the matte formula is just better, but it's a soft matte. It's, it doesn't dry out your skin. You're gonna see what it looks like on the face, okay? Sorry if that concealer on my hand bothers you. So as you can see, it doesn't dry out the skin at all. It gives you a nice soft blur, which is needed for your big poor girls like me. So it gives you a nice soft blur and it literally does what the name of it is. The name of it is Pro Filter and it does exactly that. It's just like a filter, a nice soft filter over the skin. It still has a little nice shine to it, which is perfect to go under complexion products in general. But let me know if you guys like the Luminizing Primer. I may try it out. All right, so moving on, we have the star of the show. We have the Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint. I got this shade 19. The shades that were the best match for me, I believe were 18 through 20. Um, I decided to go with 19 because it was in the middle. But what I love about Fenty is that she gave you a range for what your foundation shade was and gave you a range to try out for the skin tint. Since there isn't as many, I think that makes it a lot easier, especially when you're shopping online during this time, you can't try out your foundations and swatch them in store. So I think it's really nice that she gives you that shade range so that you can go ahead and know what will work for you based off of your previous foundation shades. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. Okay, so this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint Foundation. It is a light to medium coverage for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection, light as air. That's a bold claim. Let's see if it adds up. Okay, so that's the only description that it has on here. And like I said, I got the shade 19. We're going to go ahead and see what she's giving. Ooh, so this is actually that nice sleek packaging that you have seen everywhere. I'm obsessed with it and it's good to have it in hand. But it also looks a lot smaller than I actually thought once before. So let's compare it to the amount that comes in the typical foundations and this one. Because, I don't know, she's looking a little tiny. Maybe that means that you don't need as much? I don't know. So here is is mine 1.8 fluid ounces and this one has 1.8 as well so it has the same amount let me think about it just like it just looks so tiny like I don't know let me get I did I'm not gonna lie I did watch a few reviews but I didn't watch them like completely because I didn't want that to change the way that I feel about the foundation personally so that I could give you guys my best opinion without any bias but I did see that it's recommended that you apply this with your hands and blend it in with your fingers rather than a brush or a sponge the warmth from your fingers are supposed to make it a lot easier so I'm gonna try it a few different ways I'll do fingers on one side brush on one side and then sponge on the forehead just kind of test it out in a few different ways for you guys but we're gonna go ahead and get started let's see what the color is looking like okay that's not too bad compared okay honestly 
look at that i mean on camera you can't really even see a difference at all so the top is the skin tint and the bottom is the pro filter so mm, don't look at my fingers <laughs> i will say that 420 is just a little more golden it's just a little more golden like yellow it's not bad at all i don't think it'll make a difference on the face so that's good to know all right so let's go ahead mm, i'm kind of cringing about using my fingers to do this but we're gonna try it i'm gonna just try like a little bit and see how far that goes let's see we're gonna try it on this side all right so there's it blended in with my fingers i don't know if it's just me or if it's just something i'm not used to but i don't know if my fingers is for me really because i don't like the way that it feels i i feel disgusting having this on my hand so i don't know but i see what they're getting at i guess it does blend in really natural and i actually really like that finish okay this is a pretty good color match first of all first off off rip this is a pretty good color match you can't even lie okay i don't know if y'all saw i did have like a few blemishes here and they're covered when i tell you that this feels like nothing it literally feels like i put on like primer like very light don't feel anything really like it feels like lotion almost like it melts into the skin it covers what it needs to but it doesn't give too much coverage so it's literally like your skin like your skin but better this is the epitome of that that's what it's looking like honestly though for me like i said using the fingers isn't for me i can't even lie to you because i just don't like the way that it feels on my fingers it just feels gross to each their own um it does it does the job i guess i couldn't really even stand to blend it in all the way because it was just feeling too gross but if that's what you're up for if that's what you're used to if that's what you do do it don't let me dictate what you do do what you want to do but i'm loving this color match like i said like it's looking it's giving <laughs> period it's giving <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and try out a brush so i'm just gonna take a few drops and see how that does okay so there's the brush it does look a little more warm or like red on this side and i really think that's because my brush was dirty <laughs> okay i like that i actually really like that okay that's what i like mm. And what I noticed with the fingers on this side, it looks a lot more matte than with the brush. Maybe it'll dry down to the same thing, but here's with the brush and here's with the fingers. Okay, Fenty. Okay. But let's go with the, the go-to, okay? Y'all know I love my sponges. Let's see. Let's see what she working with. I'm not gonna lie. The sponge just does it for me. I don't know what it is. The sponge is it for me, for sure. But I like it completely. It does look a little bit different, like in different spots. And also I need to get underneath here to cover this scar. Let's see how that covers, but I'm just gonna use my sponge instead of the fingers. Let's see how that covers up. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually really good for like, literally for this to be a skin tint, like for what it is, that is crazy coverage. It feels very light on the skin. Like I said, very airy, like air, like it claimed. It stepped up to the plate. Okay, I see you Fenty. I'm loving this. But like I said, it does look just a little bit uneven in different spots just because we use different techniques for applying it on. So I'm just gonna go through off camera just to kind of get it looking a little more even so we can move on to the next step but so far fancy this skin tint i see what you did there girl i love it it's looking real nice it's the color match for me literally <laughs> i'm obsessed okay fancy all right so we have gotten that evened out and once again my hair was acting crazy if you don't we have gotten that blended out and so far i'm feeling the skin tint i'm not gonna lie the shade 19 for 20 girls but i went ahead and even that out a little bit all over the face and i also drug it down the neck no matter how good the color match is ladies make sure you're blending down the neck and the ear let me make sure i hit my ear right quick because it does make a difference you may not think that it makes a difference but it does i promise you get out in that sunlight <laughs> it's gonna make a difference okay i'm i like this though i like this we're gonna see how it wears but i like this though okay vincy and y'all know i got 8 a.m's <laughs> so this would be very nice for like when i get up in the morning just throw something on that literally looks like skin and keep it going and it feels really light and natural and oh i love it i'm loving it all right so moving on we're gonna go ahead and conceal so i'm just gonna use a mix between the two concealers i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna make this like a super natural look i'm not gonna go full coverage but when it comes to my under eye I like something to be there. Just conceal as I normally would and hit that eyelid as well. I know y'all are probably like, you are so old school with doing the triangle. Don't judge me, okay? I have my techniques and you have yours. 
place this everywhere that I would normally. You're going to blend her out. After putting this concealer on and blending it out, I'm like, what were you doing, sis, not using this? I forgot how much I love this concealer, but now actually using it again, like, girl, what were you doing? This is a concealer, baby. This is a concealer. So now I'm gonna do y'all a little TikTok trick, okay? And I'm gonna do the lifting method. That's what I do with the lighter concealer and go from there. But that first one was in the shade 390 and this is in the shade 360. Make sure to lift the nose and get in there. Get in that crevice. Oh, so good. All right, so now that we are concealed and real nice and blended out, we're gonna go ahead and set. So I did actually pick up their setting powder, but I'm really picky about my setting powders. So I actually just bought a travel size version. So we're gonna just test it out, but I love Fenty's packaging. Like this chrome is amazing. Like it just warms my heart, like my spirits, it, it feeds me. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. It's so cute though and tiny. Oh, this is in the banana shade and this is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And this retails for $18, the mini. And I will put the full size price on the screen as well. This is so cute, it comes with a little powder pop. We're gonna blend underneath there one last time. Make sure everything is real nice and smooth. And I'm going to jump a bit out in the cap. Let me do a feel test. Ooh, that feels real nice. I'm not gonna lie, that feels really nice. I'm not gonna use too much at first. Does it have a smell? It does have a little smell, but I actually don't mind it. It smells pretty good. Okay, she's cute, okay. A little blur action. Y'all see that? Have I been sleeping on Fenty? Like I knew Fenty was good, but I wasn't like crazy about their products. But don't tell me I'm gonna have to go back and make another order. And I'm picky about my setting powders. I'm so picky. Why is this everything though? Like when I tell y'all I'm picky, like I haven't even tried the Laura Mercier. Like that's how picky I am. I don't play about my setting powders. But this, oh, she's cute. She didn't come to play. She came to slay. <laughs> That's what she came to do, and she's doing it real time. Caught her in 4K right here. I'm just gonna continue to set my entire face where I concealed and then move on to the next step. Oh, that is amazing. What have I been doing? So good. All right, so now we are nice and set, and I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. Something that I do though every time after I set is just take a clean brush though and just tap that in. That's not just sitting on top, and then I take that excess and go over the rest of my face as well just to get her real nice and in order but that setting powder is good the next thing i purchased from fenty beauty is this this is the sun stalker instant warmth bronzer and i got this shade number eight and this is mocha mommy now i know there's a little bit of controversy around this shade specifically and of course right after i purchased mine a new bronzer shade came in between this one and the next one i think that kind of sucks that it came it came out literally right after i placed my order i think what was going on is people didn't like how warm this one was and how red but i kind of like that so we're gonna see if this works for me if not then i'll make it work and use it as an eyeshadow or something i'm not gonna send it back yeah this packaging though this is so cute the shade mocha mommy we're gonna test her out we're, we're gonna put her to the test we're gonna, i'm gonna let you know the truth okay so it did come with a little foil sheets and it comes with a mirror i don't think i've ever had a bronzer that had a mirror on it and it's a nice mirror say hey so we're gonna go ahead and try this out i'm gonna use my regular schmegler bronzer brush i'm gonna go in lightly because i don't know how how this is gonna build okay there's pigment there's pigmentation from that little tap but like there's already a little shum shum going on okay personally i don't really mind the shade so we're just gonna bronze like normal oh, i actually love this shade oh my gosh what were they mad about <laughs> mm, i love it this is so good i love this why only tell me i was sleeping on fenty like i knew they were good but like y'all had me sleeping on y'all know i like my warmth so i'm gonna keep building it up oh yeah that's cute that is cute oh no i'm loving this i'm loving every moment of it i'm actually gonna grab a nice little fluffy brush and bring this into my crease as well since i don't have any eyeshadow all right yeah i don't know about y'all but this is looking good to me i love the way that it's sitting on the face i love what it's giving i really do like this is it this is it 
<laughs> I'm looking real good. All right, so the next couple of products aren't purchased from Fenty, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera. I'm gonna blush, highlight, throw on some mascara, not anything crazy, and we will come back for the lips. All right, so we are back and we have kind of pulled the face together. Everything that I use on my face, I use in my everyday like go-to products. So I've used them multiple times on my channel before. So if you want reference for that, blush, highlighter, mascara, lip liner, all that will be in other videos. I'll make sure to put a card up on the screen so that you guys can go and check out some of my other makeup content. But now, right now we're doing Fenty, okay? We're talking, it's all about the Fenty. So let's reel it back in and let's get into these lips on the lips i already lined my lips with like a nice brown shade and now i'm gonna go into the new fenty beauty gloss balm creams they do have the regular gloss balm which i do have and use pretty regularly it is just a beautiful just like it goes with everything the gloss goes with every skin tone it goes with every makeup look it just looks beautiful on the lips it has a little bit of a tint and color but it's not crazy to where it'll stand out and create a look of its own it just looks beautiful over top of everything it looks good by itself it just looks so beautiful so i love that but right now we're talking about the cream so here it is this is the fenty beauty gloss balm cream and this is in the shade fenty glow so i'm really excited to try this shade out on the lips obviously we're doing a gloss so we're gonna get into it with a little bit of color we're gonna see how this color looks Ooh. Oh, let me put on my glasses so I can see. Y'all know I'm blind, but it's looking, it's looking good. Oh no, she's cute. Oh, this is literally like my everyday lip combo, but I have to like throw on a whole bunch of glosses, matte lipstick, and then line it, and then mix it with another lipstick, and then throw on different glosses on top. But this is literally it in one step. You know how much time this is going to take me for when I'm going out? It's going to save me so much time. No, this is a vibe. Ugh. She is it, okay? That was in the shade Fenty Glow, like I said, and Gloss Bomb Cream retail for $19 even. And I don't know if I said what the foundation retails for, but the retail price for the whoops price for the skin tint is i believe 29.50 yes it is this is what we're looking like it looks so good like look at this face she is sitting mm, but we're not finished yet okay we're gonna finish it off with of course a setting spray so here we have the baby what it do setting spray and i have the mini because i don't really wear setting sprays like that but i thought it would be a great end to the look give the video a nice full circle and spray this it's so cute and mini and just mm. Ooh, it smells kind of good okay oh the mist oh the mist is everything oh the mist is everything that pump come on now can every setting spray have this pump do y'all see how like light that is that mist the distribution is amazing top tier i love this the face looks real nice set some real nice and natural-esque so let's go ahead and get into our final thoughts so for the skin tint this bad boy right here this is definitely going to be the foundation of the summer i'm not even kidding you like in any way shape or form i can see everyone having this even on the go since you can apply it with your fingers i won't be doing it that way but you can apply it with your fingers literally put a drop on your hand and apply it on summer beach pics like instagram photos of course this it gives you a nice coverage makes your your complexion really nice and smooth and blurred without having to cake on foundation and do a full face because you know when you put on foundation sometimes it feels like you have to do everything else you have to do the bronzer you have to do everything this by itself it's literally your skin like it looks amazing by itself and it will be perfect this and a little bit of highlighter with some gloss on the beach don't tell me that somebody's not going to do this this is perfect for that during the summer it gets hot so you get really nice and sweaty you don't want to be wearing a full face of makeup this this right here if you're like me and sometimes you're feeling lazy but you want a little bit of coverage but you don't feel like sitting down and doing all this like a whole lot of whole lot of this is what you need i'm really feeling this is it worth the 29.50 it is definitely worth 29.50 and i think more but yeah plus on top of that i don't feel everything weighing on my face like even now it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel heavy on the face Face. and it looks like like do y'all see the skin that it's like y'all understand what i'm getting at here i can see so many people making this their go-to and 
I'm down. <laughs> like, sign me up. I'm ready. No, but this looks so good. Even up close, literally skin. I'm in love. If you can't already tell, I'm literally in love. Is it worth it? Yes. A thousand times yes. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. All together, I love my face. I love this beat. It's giving natural, but still full coverage, which is what I go for. What am I trying to say? It's, it's not like a full face it's it's a y'all know what i'm trying to say don't don't put me through this <laughs> and yeah so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below if you haven't already what are you doing more content like this to come if you want to see it you gotta press the subscribe button it's big and red it's free it just clicked the two seconds not even that a blink of an eye and it's done you don't even know you did it just do it just click it that's it so i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.